Would you like to add an order form to your Google site? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and like I mentioned, if you utilize Google Sites for your website, you can absolutely include an order form made by Jotform within your website. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my Jotform dashboard. So let's go ahead and create a brand new form. In the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna choose Create Form. And for this example, let's go ahead and take a look at our templates. And for this example, we are gonna be using an order form, but over on the left-hand side, we can see there's lots of different types and we can see we have over 1,700 order forms currently. So we can go ahead and choose that and we can kind of pick from here. But I think for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this very simple order form. Let's go ahead and use the template. And one thing I like to do with templates before I do anything is I always wanna do a quick scroll just to see what I'm working with. So I can see right up here, we have our product list. We're gonna be asking their full name, phone number, email, delivery address, and any kind of special delivery instructions. Now, if there's anything that's missing that you need over on the left-hand side, we can always add an element. And maybe we want it to be delivered on a specific date. So we can actually bring this in and we can say, you know what, I want this to be delivered. And we can change this to be perfect. Then since we are going to be embedding this on a Google website, I want it to fit the look and feel of that Google website. And as of right now, it's pretty much just white. So in the top right hand corner, we're going to choose our form designer. And this is where we can make this form look exactly how we want it to look. So for right now, we're going to change that background color to be white, or we can even change it to be transparent if we would like. If you're using this as a standalone form and not on a website you can always add a page image we can change the different styles even the overall themes as well but let's go ahead and x out of this and let's take a look at our product list and let's go ahead and add that payment integration i'm going to choose stripe for this and i'm going to get it changed over to test mode for this example we'll get us connected and we are good to go we can go ahead and continue and you can see we have product name we have the price, we have quantity options. If we choose this pencil, we can change this. So the website that we're putting this on is on a salon website. So it's not necessarily going to be t-shirts. So we can actually change this to take off the t-shirts. And you can see we can even edit it from within. Oops, I didn't save it. Let's save. There we go. But you can see that we have that product name, we have the price, and then under options, we can even add a quantity selector or a product option. We can see right now we have the quantity option. So if someone wants to purchase five of something, they can. And we can also turn on stock control, which will allow us to be able to sell things on hand and update that stock count. But if we head back, we can even add a coupon code. If we like to give someone discounts, we can do that here. We can even tack on a shipping tax and we can also send an invoice as well. But as of right now, I think we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to our publish tab. And if we wanted to share this form outright, we can always copy this link and share it through email, social media. But again, we're gonna be embedding this on our website. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna to choose to embed and I'm gonna copy this very basic code up at the top, but you can see there's lots of other ways that you can embed your form. And I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my Google website. So we can see I'm currently on the services page. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll to the bottom. I have this blank section down here. If I double click, we can embed option right here. I'm going to choose to embed code. We'll paste in that code. We'll do next. It's going to give us a preview of what that form looks like, which is perfect. We can go ahead and insert it. And then we can make this fit our website and we can drag it down. Perfect. So here we can kind of get an idea of what that looks like. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and we can do a quick preview option and let's go ahead and get this filled out. So we chose that first option. We can go ahead and submit and we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back over to my JotForm account and we can see that we are currently in the form builder. I'm gonna jump over into our tables and here is Jennifer's submission and all of her information. We can also see that she paid that $10 and we have that transaction ID as well. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create an order form and put it on your Google website, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.